everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Mythical Woods and my survival challenge. So, still on August, <laughs> we're almost done though. Uh, we've got uh, another load of wood here to sell, which is fantastic. And yeah, we're going to start off similar to how we'd have the last couple of episodes and purchase something. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, we've got all this wood to sell. Uh, so let's just get that done. There you go. So 4,969 for that. And what I want to do is head down to the stores and we're going to purchase a vehicle. Now, I mentioned last episode about purchasing a tractor. We're not going to purchase a tractor. We're going to purchase an all-terrain vehicle. Something is a bit quicker than this thing here. Um, but what we need to do first is get to the stores so we'll do that now <coughs> for those that are unaware I have put uh, some rules and channel and goals to this challenge in the description so go and have a look um, and you can see what I've uh, put into there but in essence what I want to do is conquer the map I want to buy, buy a lot of the map um, uh, ideally the first set of goals is to purchase uh, plots uh, closest to where we already are uh, and then expand out the way um, but add in in productions and yeah lots of fields clearing the land all that sort of stuff now part of the rules are that I have no loans um, but I have put on here that we're allowed to take collectibles. Now there are seven collectibles on this map, all of which are valued at a hundred thousand uh, pounds, dollars, euros, whichever you want to call it. And now, <coughs> what I've decided is I am going to collect them, but the collecting of them is going to be for uh, expansion. So we're not going to necessarily buy equipment with them or the majority of that money majority of that money is going to be going on um, expansion so buying new land basically so if we look at the map uh, at the moment here and here is where we own so we could in theory purchase this 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 or this because they're adjacent to that plot and for this one we can purchase this 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 and this and these two fields <coughs> that, are, that are within those boundaries. So those are the plots we can purchase. Now the the little uh, orbs of light are quite hard to find. I have had a sneaky try to have a look uh, off screen but um, I've managed to find a few of them. Um, so spoiler alert coming up there will be <laughs> there will be some being found but uh yeah we will rest uh, or we'll go into this evening and we'll try and find our first one tonight so <coughs> what i'm going to purchase is a vehicle um and we're going to buy this the ag150 uh it's 150 horsepower goes stupidly fast but the important thing on this is it comes with a, a a winch. Apologies about that. I've got a, a really croaky throat this morning. Um, so let's get all the accessories we want on here without costing too much money, of course. Uh, I just am yeah customizing a little bit. Uh, don't need any of that stuff attaches so this is the business end so what we want is that because that is a winch now there is a winch on the back as well like, although you can't see it uh, for winching trees so that's going to be able to help us get a lot of those trees into our new uh, wood production into our new sawmill um, so <coughs> oh, I like the green. Do you like the green? Okay, and 
design color there's lots of different colorways on this uh, you can get stainless steel but I think we're going to go carbon make it super lightweight seats let's go for uh, a sandy color like that don't need stickers rim color let's go for carbon rims as well that looks a bit of a beast and we don't need a, a license plate so we'll get rid of that nice so 8950 a bit of a beast there we go and let's go and grab it and uh, nice so yeah this thing is pretty rapid as well and um, so our trips to the stores and our trips to the sawmill and stuff will now be accelerated quite a bit and I think what we'll do we'll go off-road this way and we'll get ourselves over to our uh, our little plot but uh, yeah I hope everyone's doing well <coughs> oh, excuse me dear oh dear my chest is not doing well today I'm still suffering a little bit from uh, all the chemo side effects uh, yeah, at the moment I've got um, a thing called peripheral neuropathy, which is basically I get pins and needles in my feet, my legs, and my hands. So even holding a a controller is quite hard work. <laughs> but um, we will get there. We will get there. Just uh, yeah, I don't know. Just one of those things, I guess, isn't it? Let's, uh, in fact, let's get that one first. We'll pull that forwards. Get some lights on as well. Yeah, so the peripheral neuropathy is uh, a side effect of uh, chemotherapy, which, yeah, it's not great. <coughs> Alright, it'll only allow us to take so much weight, that's fine though. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> I've had lots of side effects from the chemo, but um, that one is definitely the worst because it, it, like, it gives you muscle fatigue as well. So not only have I got all these pins and needles and stuff, but I can't actually uh, do any exercise very easily either. And for those that know me, uh, I am quite a physically active person and not being able to do that now is, <coughs> well let's say, quite frustrating. But. Um, not to worry. It affects me holding this controller quite, quite a lot as well. I don't have as, uh, I'm not as dexterous as I used to be. So, <coughs> excuse me. Get this one. That's not reaching that. Oh, I'm making a right pig's ear of this, aren't I? Dear, dear. 
Okay. So I have heard a, a bit of a rumour, I don't know whether it's totally true, that <coughs> um, you need to have all the logs within the area for it to register them all. But what I have found, I've had a little bit of an experiment, is that if you uh, chop the logs as well, you seem to get more, more log or more... <coughs> more wood for your money. Excuse me. So let's get that in there. 4,110. So I'll show you. We'll, um, we'll get three trees again and see see uh, <coughs> how much we get for these three. Um, doing a but without chopping them because they're all three are the same length but I think <coughs> this will be quicker in the long run doing this. Uh, just because, uh, yeah, I'm not having to stack them twice and I'm not having to chop them up either. So, so if I put these in like this, it's a bit of a waste, but, um, as you can see they're full full logs. We got just under four thousand for the last lot. Uh, it's about the same actually. So whoever has started that rumour is telling a bit of a porcupine. Now if you're selling them you do get more more bang for your buck if they're a certain length um, but yeah obviously makes no odds putting them in uh, putting them into a production like this right may as well pick this bit up as well I keep running over it So the reason I'm doing this now is I want the income from this overnight. Um, so if I can chop down quite a few more trees, get them in there so the mill keeps going overnight, that's going to be the way forward, isn't it? So let's get some of these chopped down. In fact, what we'll do, we'll set up a time lapse. We'll get a uh, get a bunch of these into the mill and then yeah we can rest overnight or oh, not rest overnight we'll go orb orb hunting let's get rid of these ones out here as well there we go right we'll see you after the tunes and uh, We'll go and get these uh, into the mill. Into the mill.
and let's get these uh, these three in here as well and I think that'll probably be enough for the evening turn that light on there we go oh doesn't like taking the 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 Scots pines are obviously a little bit heavier, um, so it doesn't like taking it if you've got two of them. <coughs> so that's fine, we'll get a, pick that up in a second. Right, jump out there. So yeah, we've got... Oh, my eyes aren't working. 19,703... 22,227 litres of wood in there now. We'll just get this one last tree and in fact since we're here we may as well take these one this one as well just to even this side up a bit <coughs> I was close to hitting that one I? I nearly took out a brand new vehicle There we go. So I'll grab this one here. I'll grab the other one. There we go. And grab this one as well. Perfect. Okay. So we'll get this into here. There we go. And boom. Right, so that twenty four thousand, I'm gonna put that on selling so I don't have to pick them up. Um because I've got nothing really to do that with just now and we'll set it to planks and then that can start processing we'll see how much money we get overnight so <coughs> so that's that as you can see we've got um still got a fair few trees if i go up into the uh, landscaping view so we've cleared to the road uh, these two trees we can't cut down nor that one um, but we've got this little clump here which I will probably chop uh, and get into the sawmill uh, and then yeah what we'll do is yeah we will I'm going to keep working until it gets dark and then I think yeah we'll come back to you what I'm going to do first though um, in the shop um, I want to buy something that's going to help us in the dark. <laughs> Very cryptic, I know. So I'm going to get ourselves some night vision goggles. 200. Here we go. So... If I... Uh, there we go. So I'm going to be able to see a lot more in the dark. <laughs> um, this is quite a dark map as it is, so uh, what I am doing from now on, because uh, I had a look at the first two episodes after editing, I think what I'm going to do is um, <coughs> uh, in editing, so I'll try and lighten up the visuals a little bit, just so uh, it isn't as dark because uh, the shadows are very black on uh, on this map. Um, add to the mysticism, I suppose. So, like I said, I'll carry on. I'll get a few more trees into the mill. And, um, yeah, we'll see you... Uh, well, I'll see you very soon, um, when it's dark.
what I was doing actually I'll quickly show you <laughs> um, on the map <coughs> so how I was trying to locate these orbs I was looking for bits on the map so I thought uh, maybe there's something in the swamp there or down by the quarry um, potentially down here as well because that's the only real production on the map um, the other thing was that there's a kind of a ruin in the forest there and then there's this weird scar here that um, well yeah I'll show you in the light but um, I thought this would be quite a good spot to check out uh, it's quite close to us as well so check this out in the dark and, and see if there's anything in there but um, there's a whole lot of forest around <coughs> so no doubt I haven't found them all I think there's probably some out in these big patches of forest as well but uh, yeah I'm not going to give the game away too much uh, because yeah they're uh, they are quite good fun to try and find and the fact you can only see them in the dark as well is quite cool right we'll see you in a little bit okay 20 to 9 at night and yeah I've been busy so we've managed to cut down all the trees uh, to the edge of our plot I've also got rid of a couple of uh, smaller um, pine trees out of here as well just to clear this space um, so yeah it's all been clear felled um, and yeah, delimbed and ready to winch out of here but it was getting pretty dark so I couldn't really see what I was doing um, as you probably can't see what I'm doing either um, let's put the there we go so yeah you can see basically cleared as much as I can I've left these four trees just here just now but uh, they could go as well um, but yeah not bad um, so over at the sawmill we'll quickly go and have a look at that and we show you where we're at with that so over here in the sawmill we have 34,842 litres of wood and yeah currently processing into uh, planks so we haven't quite got a full uh, thing of planks yet but it is getting there so we will see we've got 5,526 in the bank account just now so we'll see where we're at in the morning shall we right I'm wondering where are we is it, yeah it's this bit of forest oh, I can see something glowing already let's uh, get ourselves into the woods here shall we I can see something glowing up ahead. Alright, let's have a look, shall we? So there's an old ruined castle in here, if I put my night vision on again. Look, yeah, so... Yeah, there's an old ruined castle in here, and... Well, what can I say? There's glowing light as well. Let's put the torch on. I don't know how I'm going to get up here. Oh, there's a well. Nice. Ah, that looks... It is, there we go. Fantastic. Right, if I go up here then... Well, there it is. So, how do I get this? Can I just grab it from here? No. There you go, 100,000 
for that. And there's seven more to go. Okay. Right. So, I will see you in the morning, and yeah, we'll spend spend that on a, a new plot of land, shall we? Good morning, everyone. So, I've had a pleasant night's sleep. I did do a little bit of stuff off camera um, for uh, going to bed, uh, of which I. Uh, went and picked up the little uh, John Deere tractor and headed back to the woods and I have uh, loaded a few more logs into that uh, but we are here uh, at our cabin and I thought I'd do one thing here just before um, just before we get going with stuff uh, so I need a toilet <laughs> Uh, I don't need the toilet, but I do need a toilet in here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place, and if you saw any of my uh, uh, Jack Sarge's Banished Adventure, you'd have seen this happening. But um, I'm going to put the outhouse in here um, so we can use the, use the conveniences as and when we need to. I'm going to put that, in fact, let's put the interactive zone markers on so I can see. It's a bit better. And so on. Add it in a green colour to match the cabin. There we go. In fact, I don't want it really close to the house, do I? It's a bit disgusting. Right. Let's, uh, let's put it there. There we go. So we have a convenience now that we can use to uh, Go to the toilet. It's a bit smelly in there, but um, yeah, this thing. If you've not seen it before, uh, take uh, straw, wood chips, and water slurry. So, so we're going to use. Uh, we'll probably fill this up with water. Uh, maybe around the next episode, but we'll see. But you can see our money has gone up. Um, it went up by six thousand uh, dollars last night so let's uh, cut through the forest and see if we can get to uh, get to our uh, plot shall we but um, yeah I had a, I've recorded this um, separately to the first part of this episode and um, I have had a wee thought about these orbs, so I've collected that one quite early on in this series and I don't know whether I feel comfortable with it, but we've done it now, so I think um, I'm only going to do it in the future if uh, if it's uh, absolutely necessary, um, but um, yeah, I don't know, I feel a bit weird about it, but that's okay. We'll uh, just have to live with our choices. Uh, still 31,000 litres of wood in there. And over here, yeah, you can see the decimation. So all the trees have gone from this side now. Uh, I have loaded up this many so far. Um, so, And I think I'll probably do another load uh, of logs and then the rest can go into the sawmill there. Um, but yeah, quite a few to collect up and, and sort out. So let's uh, let's purchase ourselves a bit of land, shall we? Uh, so I'm going to take this one, 36, uh, plot 36, 
and field 18. Field 18 has got a sugar beet in it which is not ideal but it'll do the job um, but it's going to allow us to generate um, generate another field um, out of this area plus it means that this this patch that we we've been harvesting we can harvest all of it and my plan is to put some stuff in this area here maybe a greenhouse or two um, so yeah so let's buy that and buy that that leaves us 30,000 in the bank yeah let's just leave it as that just now so we now own if I go into the here we now own this patch here as well so yeah like I said I was gonna maybe put some greenhouses in here and what I would like to do is expand out the sheep pasture at some point so we can have more sheep but I think the plan would be to grass out this area here with a uh, field grass and then yeah grass out this area as well and then that's going to give us enough space for silage incidentally the silage pit over here I didn't actually um, oof, uh, I didn't actually have a chance to um, compact all this because my little utility tractor is not up to it so I might use a uh, use that thing to to do it now because um, I'll probably have a bit more success but um, yeah so I think next episode we will get our tractor we'll get um, we'll get a plow and we can start getting into this area the other thing in fact that's what I was going to check is that yes it is still there oh there's that thing as well so should we buy it yeah let's do it let's do it so 60 horsepower was it how much is it to put it to 95 8 grand oh well we'll leave it like that um, keep it as Trelleborgs I think yep um, I think no we'll see how we get on just with standards I'm not going to put a beacon on just now uh, exhaust can be normal uh, front load attacher yes I'll put that one on and then we'll keep the colours the same no plate there we go so 14,294 for that let's do it and then what we need is a plow so I've downloaded a few so that's 1.5 that's one and these are too too much power I think yeah well 1.5 it is then let's just go for that all right I don't often do this but I'm just going to jump over there we go still got 15,000 left in the bank I'm going to have to service this as well There we go. So 
get this serviced. And yeah, we'll get this back to the farm. Well, a little bit cheaty buying this, but uh, I was almost there with the money. And I didn't want to see this disappear. It's a, it's a good little tractor to purchase uh, for our first tractor, or first big tractor. And the fact that we can put a front loader on it as well is kind of handy. Uh, for the, our logging as well. So, so I'm going to get this battered old tractor back to our farm and uh, we'll finish the episode there. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. If you want to share a comment, you are more than welcome to. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Slightly longer episode this one, but yeah, as I said, hope you've enjoyed it. But we will see you on the next one. All the best.